Yes, good morning everyone. This is Dr. Gabriel Lidis. It's uh, June 10, 2014. And today I'd like to read to you an excerpt from uh, my latest book uh, titled The Gift. And the excerpt is in turn entitled, and I quote, One day as I was waltzing to paradise, I stumbled into hell. The smell of the desert was powerful and magnetic that Sunday morning in Navimbia's Vambaland. My battalion was taking a break in the war zone and everyone was lounging around enjoying a cigarette or a beer and chatting about our loved ones back home. I was sprawled in the shade of my tent enjoying a hot cup of coffee, its aroma seeping into my eager brain. Mm -hmm. Life was good. <laughs> Suddenly though, the giant figure of my sergeant major was looming menacingly before me. Gabby, as they used to call me, says he to me, today is Sunday, not Saturday, right? Yes, sir, I nervously replied, not at all sure whether, where this question was going. My fellow soldiers all uh, lazily turned their heads toward us, assured that this was going to be fun. <laughs> Your day of rest is uh, the, the Sabbath, which is Saturday, right, Gabby? Is it not? Uh, yesterday, uh, it being your Sabbath, you refused to work with us. Yes, sir, I replied once again, this time gloomily, because suddenly I knew I was screwed. Great, said the malevolent grin of the sergeant major. Grab a shovel and start digging a trench all around our camp. My fellow soldiers started laughing their heads off at how cleverly I got what I deserved, quote-unquote, lol laughter all around. Inside I wanted a ball to cry like a spoiled baby monkey that had just had a banana stolen from him. Instead, yes sir, I said, as I got up, found a shovel, took my shirt off. I was 19 at the time and the bodybuilder, hey, I had a fantastic fatigue in those days. <laughs> so I started whistling a happy tune and started digging. At first, my fellow soldiers were full of sarcastic advice about how to go about digging the trench, how to hold the shovel, etc. So you, know, you can just imagine, you know, wide grins on their faces, <laughs> which were camouflaged by swirling cigarette smoke and enjoying copious amounts of ale. I, wordlessly and stoically, dug on as the sun covered my muscles with a shiny sheen of sweat. After an hour or so, actually I think it was half an hour, after about half an hour or so, uh, an absolutely incredible thing happened though. One of the guys got up, grabbed the shovel out of my hands and continued to dig for me. Next thing, next thing I knew, there was a line of guys waiting to take their turn to dig the trench for me. Astounding. The sergeant major who was watching the spectacle very quickly lost his crocodile grin. He came up to me, grabbed me by the arm and led me to his tent. Oh my God, I thought, now I'm really screwed. Coffee, he said, as he poured us each a cuppa. I've been a soldier for a long time now, Gabby, said he. And I must say, instead of crying like a stuck pig, which I thought you would, you took your punishment like a man. I can see you have a good heart and that you're not a coward, Gabby, because even though we're in a war zone in a foreign country, we were South African soldiers in Namibia at the time, you're here with us as a non-combatant refusing to carry a rifle and to kill. You're always first volunteer for any job, no matter how dangerous. And the other guys have seen that too. And out of respect for who you are at heart, they're st standing by you today. 
be thankful for that, son. Believe me, I was. <laughs> wow. I was really filled with gratitude that day. And I was glowing with pride at such high praise. Finally, the moral of the story. Sometimes, my friends, on our way to paradise, we slip through an unfamiliar door and find ourselves in hell. That's life, real life. It happens. When it does, my dear friends, don't despair. Take your proverbial shirt off, grab the proverbial shovel, and start singing a happy tune. Because then, your energy, our energy, my energy, your energy, our energy, changes. And the merciful and delightful universe, which is watching us carefully, 24-7, wanting to come to our aid, wanting to bless us with all that's good, comes to our aid and takes us by the hand and puts us back on the path to paradise in a way none of us could have foreseen. Don't forget that, my friends. I've experienced this so many times. So many times. It is a truth that I believe in with all my heart. And I offer it to you in love. As always, I love you all. This is Dr. Gabriel Gibbies. Till next time. Take care.